the new Ipsy bag. Um, this is for July. liking all of the little bags and definitely have been using them as well so we're gonna take a look before we get started oops didn't mean for that to fall i do want to talk about a few of the previous ipsy um items that i got i don't have um everything here there is actually a few things that I have finished. Um, there are, I would say like just really a couple of things that I don't really like or used. Um, like for example, I got a nail polish. I don't use regular nail polish, I only use gel. So I haven't used it, I still have it. I said I was gonna give it away. Um, I guess I'll, I'll donate it or something, but I'm going to pull some things out that I do have on my vanity. Um, so this thing, I can't remember, I, I can't even remember if I had, if I've gotten two or three Ipsy bags so far. I feel like it's been three. Um, but yeah, this is one of the things that I actually, I'm almost probably done with. I've been squeezing out whatever remains. I did like this. I'm not sure if this is the um, from the last bag. I can't remember, but it's from one of the previous bags, and I do like it. It's a uh, eye cream. Will I buy it again? Probably not. Um, it was nice to use, but it wasn't anything that was spectacular for me enough to go purchase. But it's been in my vanity. I use it before I. Um, um, not only before I apply my makeup, but I do make sure I apply some under my eye before I apply my makeup, but just when I, um, you know, wash my face and I'm getting ready for bed or something or pretty much after I've washed my face, if I remember, I use it. Another item that I got was this. I have been using this as well. I have not used it every single day, but I tell you when I do use it, um, I apply sunscreen every time I go outside, whether it's sunny or not. I like this for those days. When it's super hot outside, this is not gonna do it for me, okay? Um, but I like it, it's a uh, moisturizer and it has sunscreen in it. But on those days where it's like gloomy, and cloudy and the sun is not beaming on me I'm fine you know to go out to run errands I wash my face I apply this on it, it gives me some moisture and it has a little bit of sunscreen but um definitely don't use this on a regular hot sunny day will I buy it again no probably not I don't really see um, I don't know it's just one of those things that I it's nice, it's not too heavy, but I'm just not, you know, like, I don't really feel like it's a product that I'm, I'm going to go run out and buy. Um, the other thing, this mascara is amazing. I'm going to buy this again. Um, the only reason I haven't bought it again is because I have a good amount of mascaras that I have yet to use that are unopened. So I think, I think what I'm going to do is when I finish the mascaras that I'm currently using, I'm going to purchase it. And then that way when I open up a, a new set of my mascaras, 
I have a new one of these as well because although it's very very good um again my lashes are short I still use other mascaras with it but honestly it's so good by itself this is Tarte um Tarteist I believe so yeah this was so good I use it every time I use um apply my makeup I'm using this it's right here on my vanity and it's perfect because I sometimes um you know I travel with makeup sometimes depending on where I'm going and I do I will throw a full size mascara in my purse but this is perfect because look at it it's just tiny and then the other thing let me hurry up oh there there was a highlighter I think it was the last video I'm almost positive. Love it. I've been using that. Let me see real quick. Hold on. I think it's in my purse that I just used yesterday because I carry it with me. I carry that highlighter everywhere with me. yeah it's definitely in my purse um oh i love it i think i forgot the name i forgot the name if you go in my last video it's a small little compact highlighter like a champagne color love it beautiful absolutely love that um highlighter and then this i think i believe i got in the last one as well i like it i haven't used it much but I have used it a couple of times, um, but I do carry it in my purse just in case because these are colors that I use. Um, so any little touch-ups or something, I, I um, carry that. It's nice to have in my purse. The last thing I'm going to show you, so you know, I'm going to hurry up and get into this. I just wanted to, to update you guys with the actual products and I actually use them I don't just toss them to the side or like you know like that would be a waste of my money and I genuinely want to try new makeup products um this I have used but it's one of the it's this is actually one of the items that I, I don't care for um I'm not I don't go for to reach for it it's not something I'm gonna buy again um I have used it I don't know, I've used it numerous times just to give it a chance, you know, so I'm just like not just wasting product or items, but yeah, the, personally, I don't care for this. It's a dual lower serum. Yeah, so there goes that. That's a little update. Um, I can't remember which items are from the last um, Ipsy, but little a little update okay so stay golden this month everything you touch is turning to gold dust on your favorite highlight pat on a shimmer shadow and let the world see you shine get into this month's this month's theme at ipsy.com slash golden stay golden and um i love gold i love gold highlight and gold shadows and I love golden bronzy tones so I'm a little excited about this um, another thing I said this before in the emails they send you when your FC bag is on its way before it would like you would open the email and then if you scroll down they show you every product that's coming in it and I said something about that in the last video I don't know if people complain about that or if it's something they felt like, you know what, let's stop doing this. But now when I open the email for this bag, it gives you a link and it says if you want to see what's in your bag, you can click here. Or, or you know, you can wait till you get it. I did click on it. I forgot what it said. I think there was a... I don't even know. I think there was a mascara in this one though. But I did click on it. But... I kind of forgot everything that was in the bag so um oh look at this i think they're doing a collab at halsey for august oh that's exciting okay 
unless this is upgrade to your oh i think you gotta upgrade to the the other size glam bag okay anyway let's get into it i'm just gonna dig in here and, and grab whatever comes out so the first thing we got is this hey honey and it is a moisturizer i think hey honey is the brand let's go look at the card because the card tells us oops some more information about the product uh okay so it says here hey honey relax um sensitive skin no problem this lightweight moisturizer is made with super gentle ingredients like aloe honey and propolis to hydrate repair and comfort your skin it even helps calm inflammatory skin conditions like acne rose rose how you say that i don't know rosacea right i know what it is but um tip huh okay so the tip it says use it as the last step in your skincare routine both morning and night I guess that's a bit of a helpful tip. You know, these tips they be given are useless most of the time. They just state the most obvious, like it'll be lip gloss and it'll be like tip apply to your lips. And it's like, okay, we knew that. Um, but yeah, I guess it depends on how you, you um, how many steps you have in your skincare routine and what you wanna apply last, you know. Um, A deeply restorative botan botanical based formula designed to hydrate, repair, and comfort unbalanced and upset skin. So, I don't necessarily have like red skin around my nostrils. I do get a little red there. Like, I guess that's the reddest part of my face. The rest of my face isn't red. Um, and a little bit on my cheeks. And then obviously if I'm sweating or it's hot, then my face, <laughs> when I leave the gym, my face is like red and I just, I look absolutely crazy, but that's a different type of red. Normally my face is not extremely red, but I am going to try this around my nose actually. I'm going to put some on right now. I did um, just get out the shower. I actually didn't apply my moisturizers yet. I'm gonna do that. I like to do that while I'm in bed. And I know like, I'm about, I'm not gonna get up again. So I'm just applying some of this around my nose right now. And a little bit on my cheeks. Wherever I see red, I'm, I'm just applying it. I have a little redness on my cheeks right now. Okay. Oh, I got a little redness on my chin, too. Hmm. Alright. It doesn't smell like anything. It honestly feels like regular lotion. Like, no frills lotion. You know, like, nothing... Nothing fancy. Um, it feels light. Doesn't... Mm, I would say light to medium. And it feels not too oily, you know, like it doesn't, like I can, I, I can feel that I just put something on my face, but I feel like it wouldn't, um, in a minute, I probably, you know, you won't notice it. Some lotions are too heavy where I'm like, it kind of makes me sweat a little bit. It's, you know, it's just, it's just too much. Um, this feels nice. I'm all for anything that when it says moisturize, I'm like, yes, let me try it. I want all of the moisture. All right, next thing, I'm just grabbing. Oh, FYI, I got a lip gloss. I think I mentioned this in the last video. It was a lip gloss by, um, Um, oh, I forgot the name. Anyway, if you go to my first Ipsy video, you'll see it. 
I finished that thing. It was really good lip gloss. Um, so this one is a 100% vegan lip gel. Interesting. See, I've had lip oils. I don't know if I've ever had a box printer with soy. I don't know if I've ever had a lip gel. That sounds interesting. The packaging is very cute. And this doesn't even look like a sample size. It looks like a regular size too. But I'm wondering how big the regular size is. So here you go. Natural, cruelty, vegan, all of that. You know, all the good stuff. And it's berry plus juice. Let's go ahead and open this. Oh, also an FYI with this. This is 0 0.3 fluid ounces. And the um, the full size is 70 milliliters. I think that's milliliters, right? This one is 10. And it's $45. Hmm, that must be some good lotion. I'm, I am going to continue using it though. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it every day and see how... I like it. Okay, so this. Um, Seraphine Botanicals is the brand. I hope I said that right. Um, this is a lip gel in guava glaze. So that's the color, guava glaze. This is a very pretty color actually it's a color that i would use and i'm very impressed so far with ipsy um you know you take a little ipsy test and they ask you questions like what do you prefer more do you prefer more skin products or and i definitely um prefer more makeup products preferably foundations lip gloss over lipsticks i like lip gloss more than lipsticks um you know so foundations concealers mascara lip gloss um and uh highlighters i would absolutely love to get those and they also ask you which shades you want they also ask you what shade is close to your skin complexion and things like that so you know when they send you concealers foundations um hold on okay that Lotion, I'm not even lying. I wish I was recording my face. It legit just got rid of my redness. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Like around my nostrils, I have a little bit of red. And then it, it feathers off a little bit into my skin. You know the crevices of your nostrils? That's where I have redness, and my chin had a little bit of redness too, and it's like I can see it going away. That is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna keep using that because... But anyway, um, yeah, I'm very impressed that they have been sending shades that I did say I like more of, because this is absolutely a shade that I would wear all the time. I wonder if it smells like berry. It does. It smells so good. Very pretty. A nice little subtle color gloss combo, which I love. Because, you know, we still gotta wear a mask. Like when we go in Ubers and stuff, we still gotta wear a mask. I have so much lip glosses that I want to be wearing out, but I haven't. I haven't fully went in because then I have to. Here's the thing: I put the lip gloss on, put my mask on. My mask touches my lips. The lip color spreads. If you know, then I take my mask off. Then if I need to put it back on. I may or may not have lip color. I don't want it to stay in my face or my nose. It just gets messy. It's too much. So, um, I have a lot of lip gloss that I haven't even really fully went in and worn yet. 
so I do I like a nice gloss with a little pinch of color like this I just put some on by the way it's really pretty I'm not a fan of um You know, if you have lip gloss, lipstick on, you're bound to taste a little bit of it. It's literally on your lips. So if you lick your lips a little bit like I did just now, like an idiot, um, you will taste it. There is a little bit of taste. I'm not sure if it's like... Hmm. I don't know. It's like... What type of oils did they use in this? It's like something that I have tasted before. I know that sounds weird, but again, you have lipstick or lip gloss on, you're bound to lick your lips or, you know, directions use the ergonomically designed wand, apply directly onto your lips or just bit in shade. Layer on as multiple coats. Oh, I definitely plan on layering. I love to layer colors, lip colors. It's really nice. It doesn't feel sticky at all. I love that. My lips feel smooth and sleek and just silky. And it does give you a little bit of lip color. I do feel like the color is already close to my lip. To my lip shade, actually. And it just gives it a, um, a little tint of color with gloss. So that's pretty. I'm going to be using this a lot as well. Because I can use this on regular days or days and, you know, like I said, to keep putting on the mask, taking off the mask. But sometimes I want something with color and gloss. And lately I've just been using gloss only. Um, oh, let's read this little thing here. It says, not into heavy, sticky lip products. No, I'm not. Not all the time at least. We feel you. This unique gel textured formula coats your lips in sheer pink color and, and intense moisture. Thank you shea butter and plant oils, but you can barely feel it on. I have to agree. You don't, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel super just oily and greasy. It feels very smooth and um, barely any, like it, you barely have anything on, but it provides a nice shine I mean you can see the shine here look at that that's very pretty so a tip is to swipe it directly on your lips for a quick hint of color or dab it on using your finger for a stain like effect um the full size is $19 I um I don't know I would have to use it more. I would absolutely spend $19 on, on a lip color, but it has to really wow me. And it has to be a lip product that I find myself reaching for all the time. Like I'll give you an example of what I reach for all the time. I don't actually have the one I reach for, but kimchi, um, this is Miami. I use the clear one, which is Atlanta, or actually, um, no. Miami is not the clear one. But anyway, any of these wet lip plumper, I reach for this all the time. Literally, before I go to bed, I put some on. So that is a product, that's an example of a product that I would absolutely pay $19 for. And those lip glosses from Kimchi are not $19. They're very affordable. Um, but it has to wow me and it has to be something that I find myself reaching for all the time. And that Kimchi product, I reach for every single day. I don't even have to be going out. I reach for it just anytime I want some lip moisture or gloss on my lips. So we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. I'm absolutely going to be using it all the time, though I know that much. But um, you know, not sure if I'll buy it again. We'll have to see. Next thing. Oh, I'm excited. This is first a beauty hello fat pores be gone matte primer i am not really into um trying a bunch of primers when it comes to setting spray absolutely um pr 
primers. I have a set, a couple of set primers that I use. I use Urban Decay, highly recommended. Um, I should make a video with products that I use now that I recommend. I'll show you real quick. I hate to be plugging other makeup while I'm showing you <laughs> makeup, but I'm sorry. Um, this uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer chef's kiss this one is um dewy but they do have it in matte i always get dewy because my face is normal to dry um i like to look glowy so um yeah so that is one of my go-to's i also have a couple of other well i'd say two more other primers but usually i don't dabble in primers like that this one says it's a matte primer too, so I usually try to stay away from matte primers because, um, again, my face is already, my face is not dry, but adding a matte primer is probably not the best thing. Um, and then I do use, most of the time, full face foundation, and I do use a setting powder, so um, we'll see how this one works. I'm just smelling it. It has a nice little light smell to it. And let me put it, oops. A little bit goes a long way. That that was too much that I put on there. That's enough to cover my whole hand. So, it feels light, doesn't feel sticky. Oh, it feels silky. Okay, it smells good. It smells a little like cucumber. It has a nice light smell. I'm going to read what it says on a card. It says, keep your look on lock through heat, sweat, humidity, and more. With this oil-free mattifying face primer, it creates a smooth base for makeup to give any foundation, concealer, or tinted moisturizer. You layer on top a long-lasting grease-proof grease -proof finish. I'm excited, actually, to try this. I haven't tried a new primer in a long time apply evenly over the face i've never heard of this it looks super generic right like this it doesn't look like super fancy or anything but it's probably good as hell first first aid beauty oh that's what f okay that's what fab stands for hello first aid beauty okay oops i will say it feels really great that feels nice. I'm gonna try this tomorrow actually. I'm gonna put some makeup on and try this. My test, um, a, a nice test for me when I try new makeup on is to use it and then poll. <laughs> so I have poles in my house, um, and it's a great workout. So Sometimes I just like to apply makeup and pull. <laughs> and you know, I I start sweating in no time. You're you know, you're lifting your body weight and movement and so after after a little while I like to check on the makeup and see how it's looking and I'm like, okay, this looks really okay. I could get with this product. Or you could just go out dancing, that's another little test. To see how your makeup Ooh. Ooh. I love me a black liner my makeup I never if I'm putting full face makeup I don't have to have eyeshadow but I need to have black liner this is I don't know if it's kooky or cokey I have seen this brand in um, Dwayne Reed for a while and I have yet to try any of the products. I saw their lashes, they have very pretty lashes, but I'm not really big on lashes. Um, I rarely wear them and yeah, I really wear them. I'm not so into lashes that I like to buy different brand lashes to try, um, but they did have some pretty lashes. I'm excited, a liquid liner, oh, cause I love liquid liners. Again, my makeup is not complete unless I have that black line. Something about that black line just drawn above on my um, top lid. 
Okay. This is Precise Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. It says, calling all cat eye noobs. This liquid liner is here to help you create the perfect line every single time made with ultra saturated jet black pigments and a firm felt tip this baby won't skip tuck or smear a tip store your felt tip eyeliners upside down to keep them from drying out um a full size is only six dollars so i'm wondering how big a full size is because this looks full size to me right i'll show you guys what liner i do use I may not even have it in here. Okay, I don't. Um, the one I do, I use a NYX liner. I forgot the name of it. Um, so bad when it comes to names of certain makeups, but it looks kind of like this. This is a Wet n Wild one. Look at this. This is a full size Wet n Wild, and this is a full size from this. I mean, this is a sample size from this one. My next one is probably a little bit, not as long as this, but not as short as this. I have it in my purse, that's where it's at. And I also have some, I have some unopened ones, but I don't wanna reach for them right now, so. They should have said tip, shake it up before you use. And this is a felt tip. Um, for a long time, I wasn't too fond of the felt tips. I like the brush, liquid liner, but brush. And now I'm pretty fine with the felt tip. Because the thing with the felt tip is that sometimes, it's, sometimes it does skip. And, and it gets dry while you're applying it. This is going on really nice and smooth. This is very pretty. Um, the great thing about this is if I actually like this, I can go right to Dwayne Reed and buy it. Um, and I get 20% off in Dwayne Reed. <laughs> this one is a long wear and it does say it's um, waterproof and smudge proof. Definitely need a waterproof smudge proof. The only thing with um when it's like waterproof and stuff, it's kind of it kind of gives you a hassle to take off. So that is that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, I'm gonna use that too next time I do my makeup. Okay. I'm excited. These products have been really great. Another mascara. This is It Cosmetics. I've heard of It Cosmetics. I can't say that I um, have used uh, anything from them. Did I tell you how much? Okay, yeah, I did. All right. All right, so this. Uh, let's see if I can just open it like this. No, I can't. This is what happens when you have nails on. You would think sometimes like you have nails, it's easier to do things like open stuff. It's not. This is awesome. All of these sample size mascaras that I could just throw in my purse. So this is it. Um, I like the no frills, you know, Packaging, it's just gray. I don't know if the bigger size has a little bit more, you know, pizzazz, but I'm cool with this. It says it lash blowout, and uh, this is just in black, right? Yeah, so it says made in partnership with Dry Bar. Okay, I know Dry Bar is a beauty salon that does basically just like blow dries your hair they do other little things like curls but there's no coloring and you know all those other things that you would get done in a hair salon um so that's in collaboration with them well partnership 
This mascara gives your lashes insane curly volume, which makes sense because it says lash blowout, like a blowout, which is what dry bar does. <laughs> this mascara gives your lashes insane curly volume. I'll be the judge of that. Like a round brush stylus you use on your hair. I just got beauty school flashbacks. The unique wand gives lashes long lasting lift, thickness, definition, and major volume. A tip, wiggle the wand from the root to the tip for a falsy effect. That is a good tip. That's actually a tip people can use. The full size version of this is 7 milliliters and it's $25. This is three milliliters. The full size is seven. Let's take a look at the brush. How's this brush looking? Okay. Yeah, I'm liking the brush. The brush is nice and plump and full and I can tell it's gonna give my lashes some volume. Um, I kind of want to try it right now, but I washed my face already. Uh, I'm gonna see how much. Okay, so it's just a little. I wanted to see how much product comes out. You know, some mascaras, too much product comes out with it. That's not bad. So, this is the last item. I'm absolutely gonna keep you updated on this. I'm gonna use this tomorrow. Um, I am absolutely already impressed with this. I, I swear I wish I can um I wish I could have showed you guys but it literally took away the redness that's insane <laughs> within like a couple of minutes I mean it says it calms redness and irritated skin so it doesn't say how long it takes but literally a minute or two the redness around my nose is gone I'm actually gonna apply this apply some more but I am already impressed and you know I laughed at the $45 price tag but um hmm. that might just be worth it and I'm also yeah so I'm gonna try this tomorrow I'm excited because I have all of these products right here I can do a full face not full face but um I like that they, they threw in a good variety, you know? I could do a liner, lashes, I even have a primer, and lips. This is perfect. I'm gonna use all this tomorrow to do my makeup. Um, I think maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I don't know if anyone is interested in seeing it, but I wanted to do actually a before and after of my lash before I use it and before and after I use this and I think I'm gonna do that with this as well because it's amazing literally this mascara is so good um, I'm excited to try this though and let's see oh well <laughs> that's kind of wiping off however some of this got on this I can feel it yeah so we're, we're gonna act like we didn't see that because this is not the true test yet. I did have some grease on my hand. However, I do, I have used 24 hour with the NYX one, does not do that. Um, also there is a wet and wild one that is legit like a tattoo, like it's so hard to get off. But I mean, I guess we'll see. This one is only $6, so, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Whoops, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or, you know, about the products. I'm going to be using them as much as I can. And I'll keep you updated in the next video. I'm going to update you guys on how these products did. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to update you on how the products did. But again, this one I'm already impressed with. Um... I've been talking and my lips are still moisturized and 
tinted slightly with the color so this is this has been nice so far but i'll keep you updated thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time enjoy the rest of your day make sure you take care of yourselves